Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story this week comes from the world of physics, in particular quantum physics, where researchers at University of Oxford have demonstrated quantum entanglement on a macro scale. Quantum entanglement is one of the strangest phenomenon in quantum mechanics, and states that a pair of particles that are created together can sometimes have entangled properties, meaning affecting that property in one particle would instantly have the same effect on the other. This instantaneous change happens no matter the distance between the particles. This bizarre property has been observed many times in experiments, but usually with tiny particles at extremely cold temperatures. Now, for the first time, it's been demonstrated on a large scale using artificial diamonds. The researchers hit one diamond with an ultra-short laser pulse, altering the vibrational energy of the crystal, which then allowed them to briefly observe entanglement as the other diamond's vibrational energy was also altered despite them being six inches apart. These experiments have huge potential for practical quantum communication and other technologies. Our next story comes from the world of technology. Scientists in Switzerland have created a prototype microchip from molybdenite, which they say has several advantages over silicone. Molybdenite has semiconductor properties like silicone, but one area in which it surpasses silicone is in miniaturization. Due to potential for chemical reactions, silicone can be, at minimum, 2 nanometers thick to remain functional whereas molybdenite is stable in layers as small as three atoms thick. These new chips would also be more efficient as molybdenite transistors are faster to turn on and off. It also has desirable mechanical properties for use in flexible electronics, which is a growing area of advancement. And from the world of material science, a professor at New York University is working with corporations to develop new and improved bioplastics. Pretty much all conventional plastics are petroleum-based, meaning they use up fossil fuels and aren't biodegradable. Previously done research used engineered yeast to modify fatty acids in plant oils. These modified fatty acids can form polymers to produce tough and flexible plastics that are 100% natural. But this yeast-based polymer is only the foundation for a new wave of bioplastics. Fibers based on cellulose, called cellulose nanowhiskers, will also be developed to act as reinforcements for some plastics. Composites of new and old bioplastics are being made to produce various properties. This will result in practical plastics that are environmentally friendly for many applications. We end with a quick update from the field of astronomy, with the promising discovery of a very Earth-like exoplanet. The planet known as Kepler-22b has a 290-day orbit with a radius over 2.4 times that of Earth. Most importantly, it's in the habitable zone of its star, meaning there's the potential for liquid water. This exoplanet was discovered like most others by detecting the periodic dimming of a star. After three such observations, it's inferred that the dimming is caused by a planet transisting in front of the star. Although this planet is confirmed and promising, Kepler has 207 potential Earth-like planets to investigate. The SETI Institute will even be analyzing that region of space for intelligently originated radio signals. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.